This is my friend Max, uh, Max Hunt, and he has a YouTube channel like me. His is obviously far better than mine is, but uh, uh, he's also a, uh, a van dweller. Max, this is your van. Tell us about it. This is my van. It's a normal M-A-N-T-G-E. TG or TGI? I don't know. TGI, TGI. 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 I'm always yes. saying it wrong because <laughs> I'm not British. I'm yeah. Danish and I bought this van and I went directly to the ECS off-road in Germany and asked them to pimp my ride. It's a normal van. It's a typical van life. It's not a motorhome or something. There's no kitchen inside. But I'm willing to take you inside and present the whole car to you if you want to. Let's have a look at it. We started on the outside. We have some uh, rock sliders. And rock sliders like these is what you need if you go off-road and go where I go. Uh, we traveled all of Iceland and we have a lot of plans for the future where we will go with this truck. They are made of subtle metal and they're uh, powder coated. So they are made for the extreme actually. Beside that we have a bumper. No, no, we take the engine first because the sign says here yeah. it's a TGI. Oh, TGE. 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 Yeah. Yes, TGE. E. And it's a total weight of three and a half tons mm -hmm. and 180 horsepower and 4x4 with an electronic uh, differential rear, uh, how do you say? Uh, differential. Differential on That's the it. back. Yes, axles. yeah, rear differential. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's got. Then we got some bigger tires on. They are eight centimeters higher than normal. So we get more uh, 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 opportunities for going off-road and we lifted the car even further four centimeters. So in total, the car is eight centimeters higher than normal. The bumper. The bumper is integrated with winch, light, and we integrated all the sensors again, even the one for the, uh, how do you say, pilot uh, speed cruise control. Cruise control, yes. So we can keep the distance to the cars in front of us automatically. Mm -hmm. And the bumper goes all the way underneath the car and is the, the protection under the, the engine as well. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be coming out, but we'll, we'll have to hope it is. <laughs> um, what else do we got up here? We have a... a Folger from ECS created a great snorkel. And snorkel is not just uh, because of uh, because we need to go through water. Actually, it's most of all because we need to get rid of the dust. If we go at dusty places, we try to get as little dust into the air filter as possible. And that's why we move the air intake from down here up here. Uh, next up is up on the roof. There is a roof tent, which we can take on, uh, leave on the car, or take off when we come home. It's suitable for two persons and very easy to pop up. I'll show that. I think you will cut the pictures in right here. I will show it in a second. <laughs> inside, come inside. Inside, it is a very, very simple car, a van actually, with a, a mattress in the back, which is two meters long, which gave, gives us plenty of space underneath to bring all our gear. The floor has air rails in it, in which we can mount up to seven seats in total and which makes it possible to empty the car within a few minutes. So if I want to take the motorbikes out and secure them in here, I can do that easily by using the airliners in the bottom of the car. What else do we got? I've I got a kitchen here in the middle placed between the two seats and the kitchen can be taken out and in there I have all I need. There's a double gas cooker, there is everything you need for six persons actually to, to make a nice dinner. And in the front where you are sitting right now, I have a, a air suspension seat. Is that pronounced yes, correct? Yes. Uh, and that gives you pretty much perfect comfort riding this uh, van. And beside that, you can turn them around so the sitting space here becomes very nice. We have a heater on board so we can stay cool at winter. I live in Sweden and drive a lot in Norway, even in the winter, when we go up fishing in there in March. Who didn't try to go uh, mobile homing in uh, Scandinavia, go there. Forget everything about Alaska. Scandinavia is the real shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Scandinavia is our Alaska. Uh, the Americans, I mean, California, where I used to live, uh, everybody wanted to go to Alaska. And I think our Alaska is the... Uh, 
well, Cap Nord is, well, Nord Cap, sorry, the, yeah. uh, is, the, uh, I know that's in Norway, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But, but the uh, whole Nor uh, coast of Norway is just beautiful. Yeah. The Lofoten Islands and uh, Bergen and all, you got the coast down there. Mm -hmm. There's so many pretty places there and you, you, it's legal just to stop and take a, take a stop for a night and sleep there. Remember your garbage, the garbage cans everywhere. Enjoy the nature up and go there because people are so friendly up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I'd, li I'd really hope to go this yeah. uh, one day. I mean, weather like this as well would be fantastic. June, long nights, ah. before the school holidays, there'll be fewer people. Ah, yeah. So uh, May, June, ideal time, I, I, I'd imagine. But remember the mosquito spray. Ah, it's very yes, important. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I, I got it out in my van last night. <laughs> yeah, <I see. laughs> yeah. Perfect. Uh, that's great. And uh, should we have a look on the back? Let's go to the back. On the back we have a spare tire, yeah. which we have uh, mounted on the, how do you call these, where the door opens? Uh, yeah, um, what was that, a frame I suppose? Uh, it's a, yeah, but it's got hinges there. Uh, on the, the hinges. hinges. Oh, sorry, the hinges. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, mounted yeah. on the hinges, so yeah. the weight of the tire is not on the entire door, oh, ooh, but it is yeah. on the hinges. Yes. The same about the... Uh, what do you call these? Well, I, I've started calling them sand tracks. So I've got a feeling I've got that confused with the German word, which is Sandblech. the Blech. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, these are extra, extra th uh, thick. So if we have like a ditch or something, mm -hmm. we can use them as a smaller bridge as well. Yeah. So they're not just for putting on and get out of the sand, but we can use them to cross the ditches. Beside that, we have a leather here, which mm -hmm. makes the roof tent on top accessible like this. And mm -hmm. I think if you go over there, I will try to close the tent once so you can see how easy it is made. Go All a right. few meters. Are you ready? Uh, ready. We take out these two pins. The mattress mm -hmm. and sleeping bag and everything is still up here. We take the rubber band, put it up to the middle, wrap that one, and then we close the roof tent like this. And we close it. And it's ready to go. Then we're ready to go. If you come out where we want to sleep at night, just open it again. And you open the roof tent, take on the rubber band, like this. Put your two expanders in here, like this, and you're ready to sleep. Great. Super. <laughs> So where do you think your next trip will be to? Uh, I've traveled uh, most of uh, the Russian continent actually. I've been in Mongolia and Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, all of Siberia, Kamchatka and Alaska. And yeah, I think next stop might be uh, getting that one and a new real truck that we do, an 8x8 wheel, uh, and go to Namibia and then drive the southern part of uh, Africa. And mm -hmm. uh, our plan is to take a new continent every year. So. Yeah. Oh, great. And whoever wants to join, just join us on... I'm allowed yeah, to say, sure, of course, yeah, yeah. Join us on maxhunt.eu or follow us here on YouTube as well. I hope he will put a link in there. I will put one to his for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Thanks then, Max. See you.